I'm Emily and I'm a sophomore nursing major here at Ambrose. Hi, I'm Kristen and I'm also a sophomore nursing major here at St. Ambrose. Welcome to campus. So this is our newest freshman only dorm that we do have on campus and the great thing about the housing is that these are going to be Jack and Jill style housing so it's going to be you and then your roommate as well as two other people all sharing one bathroom so you don't have to worry about that communal style bathroom. You do get housekeeping coming in once a week and cleaning your bathroom for you so you don't have to worry about doing any of that yourself. Woohoo! This is North Hall and it's an interesting building because it's freshmen through seniors, half of it being apartment style and half of it being suite style, identical to what we saw in Bechtel. It's one of our living learning communities here on campus, so they have extended quiet hours and also a mentor program, so all freshmen coming in are going to get paired up with the junior and senior mentor, which is a great resource to help you with any of your classes or just getting adjusted to being on campus. wellness and recreation center so basically from the glass windows on down that way is all new it was actually opened up in the fall of 2017 so it's really nice first we have our honeycomb floors there's bee ponds all over campus over here we have our gigantic field house and then our weight workout room upstairs we have a study area lots of classrooms for students to use a group fitness room, cardio workout room, and our athletic weight room. And here we have a bunch of our health science classrooms. And now we're heading into our upstairs cardio room in the Wellness and Recreation Center. Alrighty, so this was the upstairs cardio room with all the treadmills and electricals, but downstairs is actually where all the weights are going to be. This is the Rogalski Center, affectionately called Rogo by the students. There's a lot going on in here. It's a really central location on campus. It has our security office, our career center, the Rogo food court. Um, we also do have the bookstore as well as our student health services center in there as well. So it's really kind of the anything, everything place because a lot of our student services do reside in the Rogalski Center. Right over here, we do have our career center. And then on the other side, we do have our campus security. So campus security is going to be on campus 24 7. Upstairs is the ballroom where we host a lot of our big events like dance marathon. Well, the townhouses are upperclassmen housing, so juniors and seniors, and it'll be eight people to a house. So if you have seven other best friends that you can live with, it's a great option for you. So what's behind me is Team Mid and Hagen, and these are actually going to be apartment style living. We also have our sand volleyball courts, which we use for intramural um, volleyball. Um, so yeah, so Team Mid and Hagen, so those are going to actually fit four to six people in the apartment style living. Um, so yeah, you're each going to get your own rooms as well as a kitchen and a living space, and they're actually really cool, so yeah. I have a lot of friends who live here and they all love having their own space, their own kitchen, but still getting that sense that you're living with some of your best friends. So get some studying done. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we're getting ready to head over into the library. So the library is actually really great because we have a lot of different things in there. So we have group study rooms as well as individual study rooms that you guys can check out. Um, for studying purposes, whether you have a big project coming up or finals or just want to work on homework. Then check out a movie or maybe some board games. <laughs> a plus students. Yeah. How was your day today? Pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Oh, we got some extra points. Coming up to the chapel here, uh, mass is offered every day of the week except for Saturdays and twice on Sundays. And uh, Wednesday nights, they'll have it at 9.15 for all the students. And Campus Ministry puts out a little treat for us in the gathering space at the end. So if anything, come for the free food and a chance to be social. So this is our Dowling Fine Arts Center. So this is where we're going to be having our music, theater, communications, broadcasting, as well as fine arts. Lewis Hall is our science building on campus, so it's going to have our biology labs, chemistry labs, and even a cadaver lab. Alrighty, so this is Davis Hall right here. Right now, the 
this is our all girls dormitory and it is going to be freshman through senior living. It is also going to be communal style bathrooms as well. But you get your own room. This is the grotto, so on some of the nicer nights of the year, uh, Wednesday night mass and more will be out here, so campus ministry will put out a bunch of chairs and candles and students can come and have mass outside. And now we're walking into the Beehive, which is a great spot for students to come meet up and study and grab a cup of coffee before class. This is Crosgrove, which is a freshman residence hall and also home to the dining hall here on campus. I always get, how's the food? And the food is great. Thanks so much for touring with us, you guys. See you soon. Go, Go Bees!